Hey man, what are we talking about today? What motivates you to work out? What makes you want to be a better person? How about you start, man? Well, I'm 19. And for most of my life, I'll admit, I've, I've been a slacker. So like, I kind of don't want to be a slacker anymore. I just want to achieve the best. So to achieve the best, you got to sacrifice. And so that means sacrificing time. It's kind of like a way of suffering too, if you think about it. Um, and that's all from, from the audio book I was listening to. So basically, my point is, if you want to uh, be the best, audio book. Uh, I don't know about the audio book. The audio book is called "The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck." We're not sponsored by it. Matter of fact, we're broke as shit. We're just doing these videos for the hell of it because they're fun. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a good it's a good self help book. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, well. Basically, the book says that to be successful and to achieve whatever goal you want in life, you have to sacrifice and you have to suffer. The rich suffer because they have too much money, the poor suffer because they don't have enough, stuff like that. That's just a basic example it gives. And if you want to have your dream career, your dream physique, whatever, you gotta suffer. You gotta put in the work. And that goes for anything. Like for me, my goal right now is to work and save up to buy a car. And I'm suffering my free time, sacrificing it. And basically, I just, I don't know, to, to get what you want, to sum it up, you gotta work hard. And I wanna work hard at this point. Because in the future, like, life's not gonna give you shit. Like, it's not high school anymore. Life isn't gonna be easy, for the most part. So you gotta work hard to achieve whatever you want. That's just my thought process, it's basic. Yeah, I need download. to listen to that audio book. Is it free? Well, uh, you can download it, yeah. Just look it up on the Pirate Bay. Cut that out, so. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out so I don't I get don't fucking, fucking see that. clipped. Right. That's gonna be the, the next video. Jason gets arrested. <laughs> Motherfucker, you gonna go to prison for saying that shit just now. Yeah, I know that. For so, letting get fined $25,000. Also, another example, like, high school, I, I was like a mediocre wrestler because I would never put in the work. I had the, I had the technique and I had the potential talent. Like, everyone would tell me I had potential, but I just didn't work hard at it. And I mean, I made it to college with the potential, you know? Like, I got to wrestle in college with that potential, but if I worked hard and if I sacrificed whatever time I had, I probably would have been way better. What about you? Like, why do you want to work out? Why do you want to better yourself as a person? The main thing to me is just the concept of change. It's been three years since I started working out, but three long years, only about five months of that was good working out, though. But, yeah, five, last five months, or what month are we in, the sixth? Yeah, we're six in months, June. six months, so six months of actually working out right, but just from where I started, like, I'll put up a picture right now where I started from, I looked like, I was 120 pounds and I looked like a, boy, boy I, looked, for pajamas. I looked like a newborn duckling, <laughs> like, it was bad. It went from neck to waist. There was no, you know, but obviously your body changes and stuff when you do stuff right, and that's always fun. And but then again, you you didn't have puberty, so yeah, think about that. Yeah, but still, up until this year, really, or last year, my I wasn't looking looking the part of what I was doing. But the, I mean, the physical part isn't really all it is either. Um, that and then the job of working at the shoe department, retail and shit. That's something should people, everyone should do is work retail at least once in their life. Retail and fast food. Yeah. Because you got or, social skills. Either one. Does this fuck just? Uh, yeah. It, it, it really, it just comes down to change in all aspects. Like the body's changing. Um, I'm not really self-conscious really anymore. Like when I first started going to this gym. It was like it's you intimidating. Would, yeah, at first, cause you you think that everybody in there that's been there for a while is just looking at you and shit. Now that I go in there, it's just like I feel like I'm just one of the one of those guys that that I would be looking at and being like they're fucking watching me and shit. Like I'm doing everything wrong and shit. I don't. I, it, it, your whole mindset changes. Like I mean, now it's easier for me to just talk to people. Before I started working out, I couldn't even go up and just talk to people. Like, if I had to go fucking 
get a good example. Like I had to ask somebody for something that I didn't know. I wouldn't do it before. Now I'm more social. Um, it has given you that confidence that you didn't have before. Yeah. I don't know if it's confidence. It's just like maybe two because of uh, my last uh, girlfriend. Cause that definitely changed a lot since that. Fuck our last girlfriends, by the way. Yeah, fucking. It. It's mad dark in here. I'm gonna cut this off. I'll okay. tell you that. Link to my video about women leaving men on scene. Thanks. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be in the description. Check that shit out. Check the channel I, out too. I only post the videos like twice a month. Yeah, but he's, but, <laughs> he's about to start posting more now. He's got another video coming too. We're gonna shoot it soon. Yeah. It just makes you feel good. Like, you, you don't feel so shy, I guess, in a sense. But whatever. You're more open. More open minded. Um, also, like, like fashion sense. That's how I see Because I'm big into fashion. It's like, oh, these, these pants fit me now. I can rock this. I can yeah. start wearing that. Yeah, too. Stuff like, like that. Um, Oh, this shirt is hug makes me look stronger. It's hugging my 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 arm. Yeah, and I like another part is I like learning about working out and stuff. I wanted to be a personal trainer and stuff like that, but I don't really want to do that anymore. I mean, there's not a high chance you're gonna make a lot of money in that. But and and um, another part is like because of the last five months, how right I've been doing it and the consistency and. All, all the all the things in the one the you know different training styles volume and intensity and shit i've had this blinker on no i haven't um i've been um like you notice like doing everything right i just notice so much progress and so much like i've gained more in six months than i have in three years easy from lifting. Yeah. yeah from lifting like i've gained so much more muscle i'm already 170 pounds when i started six months ago it was 150 now i'm 170 easy in a month, I've improved my dead, my deadlift. Yeah, I'm like you're uh, hype about that. Thirty pounds over now. Yeah. And I fucking, I don't, I didn't try to PR. I didn't think about it. It was just like coincidence, though, that that was my PR. Like I wasn't even trying. It just, it and just when, happened. And like you said about clothes and stuff too. That's a big thing too, because now before it was like I had to wear an extra small shirt. Right. I have some shirts at my house that are extra small. I can't. I can't even put them shits on anymore. They're, they're, they're death. And then it went the smalls. You know, when that's when I was like thinking I was really getting gains and stuff, but I really wasn't. Now it's mediums, and they're starting. And they're filling out. I used to wear large, size 38 pants, and now I'm a size 34. Um, for my pants. Yeah, and my waist and everything got bigger for the most part. Yeah, that's. That's another good part about it too. Change your clothing style and stuff, different types of shirts. Wear v-necks and stuff now, you know. It's kind of cool, like the difference between this, because me, it's more like, I've always been a bigger kid, you've always been a smaller kid, I'm assuming. Uh-huh. You're, you were always trying to get big, I've always been trying to get small. Yeah. So it's kind of like, we. you get to see both points of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's comedy tonight, in here. What? This bar, it's comedy night. Oh, and Marky, Mikey B's or whatever? Oh, yeah. B's, some shit like that? Maddie B records. And I wish when I did sports and stuff too, football and track. You lifted? Not even that. I wish that they taught us how to lift. We, like, it was like, with football, it was just the same shit over and over. You do cleans and presses and squats. Like, do, I mean, obviously, when you're working out football style, you're more functional as an athlete. Yeah. But, you're focusing on certain muscle groups to help you a better athlete yeah, in the sport. You're getting flexible and shit like that. Like during football, my tightness and my hips went away. But like I didn't see no muscle gains. I got to 150 pounds and then the season started and they just fucking ran us to the ground and I dropped down to 140 again. And then matter of fact I graduated at 140 pounds, so since then I've I've fucking gained 30 pounds. And I kept it on. I wake up in the morning 169 and ease up. But yeah, track too. They didn't. They got. If I could work out the track team and the football team, oh, it wouldn't even be the same. For me, the smallest I've ever been was 173. No, not even 171 actually. And so uh, you were dead as my weight. Yeah. And how much are you now? I'm 200, 204, 204, right? Last time I checked. 
But that's and just like Vaughn too. That man just dropped ten pounds. Yeah. Fucking out of nowhere. But the reason I gained was because I was losing weight unhealthy. Yeah, I was looking good, but at the same time, like as a wrestler or as any like competitive athlete, when it comes to like I don't know physical sports like wrestling and boxing and stuff like that, you have to drop the weight quick because they give you a deadline. You know. Like, yeah. you gotta be this way by next week, and if you're not, you can't compete. Yeah. Or either that, you have to suffer yeah. the night before. You didn't really have have a chance to gain strength and shit. No, I did not gain strength. I maintained strength, yeah. but I didn't gain anything. I lost a lot of weight, but I didn't yeah. gain anything from it. Like, I was looking good, like I said, but that's about it. Yes. But the cost that I lost the weight was, was, wasn't great, because I lost a lot of strength, too, in the process, That's actually. why... Yeah. That's why, like, the training, like, shit for professional sports is so much better. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, because you, get you, your, you get your own There's a paid shit. trainer who pays you out of, you know, who's, who's paid to train you a certain way yeah. to make you gain a certain amount of progress. Yeah. Well, that's I about mean, it, I guess. We pretty much covered all, all facets of the question. Well, man, I guess uh, we know what motivates each other now. I mean, now we can dig into progress. that, into the gym. Yep, yours is the progress, mine is, I guess it's the same chain it's the same progress. thing. Same chain thing. progress are the same thing. But mine's like, I don't want to be the person who keeps like quitting. Yeah. Cody. I'm gonna see ya. See ya. See ya in the care. morning. I'm going home to fucking eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed that. That little discussion we just had. Something a little different for the channel, but it's always good to try different things. And... Not only was it a good workout, but it was a good and interesting little, I guess, informative discussion that just so happened to be on camera. So, we're going to start doing these um, every once in a while. Not always fitness related, life related, as you saw when we digged into ex-girlfriends and shit, who I will not name, but I will describe as a piece of shit who can suck my cock but at the end of the day it is what it is so i'll talk to y'all another day or tomorrow or you know what i'm saying she's got classes